Steve, what a terrifying day to be on that plane when a bird got stuck in the engine. Tonight we're digging into how often this happens and what the folks here at RDU to prevent things like this. Southwest 1954 Raleigh Tower Roger. Say nature of emergency. Aviation experts tonight are praising the work of these Southwest pilots to get back on the ground as quickly as possible. Yeah, we had a press strike and uh, we lost uh, number one. Flight 1954 bound for Fort Lauderdale, but having to turn back around after a bird hit the engine on the left side. And we're about 10 minutes into it and all of a sudden you hear a boom, boom, boom. Steve Richmond was on that plane. It felt like turbulence, right? I mean, you were like, OK, hey, here we are on the roller coaster. It can be very dangerous. There's no doubt about it. Rob Marshall is our eye in the sky. Again, if you have a major bird strike, there's no doubt that it can take your engine out. Yeah. Won't take my engine out. The pilot for Chopper 11 catching that Southwest plane parked at the gate moments after the terrifying incident. Southwest said its mechanics are looking at it, but they didn't take any chances and put these passengers on a different plane to Florida. It's their airspace as much as ours. They're going to they're not having anybody direct them as to where to go and where not to go. Over the past year, the I team found there have been 63 bird strikes at RDU. That's an average of five per month. Late last year, Southwest plane hit a coyote on the runway as it was taking off. RDU also works with state and federal agencies to reduce wildlife hazards in and around the airport. But even these methods aren't foolproof. But from the flight's point of view and aviation safety, they did a textbook job of bringing the airplane back, shutting the engine down, using the checklist, and getting everybody safely back on the ground. John Nance is an aviation consultant for ABC News. Steve is grateful to be on the ground tonight. And I will say thumbs up to Southwest. I mean, they, they were great. Awesome. Sounds like they handled it, you know, as professionally as they could. Absolutely. Steve zoomed with me from Boca Raton tonight. He is safe and sound. He told me that they took off on a different flight about three hours after they were supposed to. Those experts saying this is why these pilots train as much as they do. Diane. Already thankful to be in Florida, even though they mm -hmm. were a little bit delayed. Yeah.